Hello, my name is Chris Mufflard. I'm a project engineer at Vico Software. Welcome to the Schedule Planner video training series level three. In this vignette, we're going to talk about what is location-based management and scheduling. The aim of this vignette is to talk about what is LBMS, what are the sloping lines that we see in a flow line schedule, and how we read a flow line schedule. So what are location-based management systems? LBMS, or also known as Flowline Scheduling, is breaking down a project into locations and using these to plan, analyze, and control work as it flows through each location. So how do we calculate durations in an LBMS schedule? Durations in days equals quantity of work in location by the resources and hours that are required to consume each unit of that work. We then divide that total number of man hours by the resources available for the day or the optimal crew size multiplied by the shift length. Flow line schedules consist of a location breakdown structure in the vertical axis and a calendar in the upper horizontal axis. Within our schedule view, we have a series of sloping lines which are representations of our tasks. Each task is made up of the subcomponents that we assigned in the task manager. This means that each task comprises of a quantity. And because we are going to load them with a crew and because we've assigned a productivity factor, we know that this is a summation of the entire duration for that task. As each task flows through the project, we know that it corresponds to the associated locations in the vertical columns. This graphical representation of a schedule and its tasks allows us to understand more clearly the effects of inefficiencies in production. For instance, we can say that this yellow shaded area is an opportunity for us to look to optimize the schedule. As we progress to this level of vignettes and the next level five, we'll learn more about this. Let's get to scheduling. It is important to convey that each task location is a separate activity and is traditionally represented as a separate line on a Gantt chart. Flowline recognizes the fact that each task location should be connected and therefore the default behavior is a continuous flow between locations. In this vignette, we introduce the theory of LBMS, discussing that it's a location-based method of construction scheduling, analyzing, and controlling. We also showed you how to read a flow line schedule, which is a clear visual representation of tasks as they flow through an LBS. We further reinforced that the task lines are quantity and resource loaded, which help us calculate the duration by location.